Hello and welcome back to our live showroom. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at two short throw projectors. We will be looking at the Epson 435W and the Ricoh WX4240N. The Epson uses the standard three LCD technology that we've seen in projectors for decades. While the Ricoh incorporates the new single chip digital light processor technology or DLP, which is more commonly found in today's state-of-the-art projection systems. More details on these two technologies are available on our website and many other places. After unboxing both projectors, we can see some differences right away. The Epson 435W is bulkier and heavier, which may be more important if you travel with it. Another physical difference is the placement of the ports and power supply. Ricoh has placed them all in the front of the projector while Epson has them all in the back. We didn't consider this a big deal at first, but after setting up, we were impressed with how tidy the cables appeared on the Ricoh's front ports, and we really could not come up with a scenario where having the ports and power in the back would be advantageous. Both Epson and Ricoh include software for easy setup on any PC or Mac connected to the same network. On both devices, the projected image quality appeared better with direct HDMI or VGA input from the computer. There is some minor initial setup that is done through the on-screen menus of both machines. Mainly to configure projection brightness, color temperature, focus, and zoom. The next major difference between the two is how they both handle keystoning. Keystoning is the process of reshaping a projector's image with the goal of projecting a perfect rectangle onto the screen. The Epson has four buttons on the top so you can manually adjust the four directions. Epson also provides some setup screens that help show each corner and its relative position to the other corners so you can have a more square and level image. On the other hand, the Ricoh projector, while also offering the ability to adjust keystoning manually, uses an internal accelerometer to determine its position relative to the ground and adjusts keystoning automatically without any user intervention. That is really nifty. If you accidentally move the Ricoh projector, it corrects and readjusts itself in about three seconds. This function works perfectly from any angle and greatly reduces setup time. This feature, in our opinion, is a big improvement over the manual setup, which can be tedious and lengthy. The image projection specs of both the Epson 435W and Ricoh WX4240N are basically on par with each other except for contrast ratio, and it's a big one, especially if you're trying to create a cinema quality experience. The Ricoh projector has a 5,000 to 1 contrast ratio versus 3,000 to 1 on the Epson's, but the difference in actual use inside a darkened room appears to be magnified. Here, you can see that the Ricoh projector has much darker black areas, while the Epson projector produces a medium dark gray on a white screen. Even though both models are rated at the same brightness of 3,000 lumens, the Ricoh projector appears even brighter to the naked eye due to its inherently higher contrast level. The Ricoh projector's higher contrast also translates to sharper and more readable text, crisp pixels on every part of its projected image, and overall more appealing and accurate colors. We made a number of adjustments on the Epson in order to obtain its best quality but we can never get it quite as sharp, clear, or vivid as the Ricoh projector. The Ricoh projector's use of DLP technology allows their projector to consume less power while maintaining a brightness rating equal to that of the Epson 435W and generating considerably less heat. During operation over a 20 minute period, the Epson projector raised the temperature of its surrounding area by 10 degrees while the Ricoh barely managed to increase its local temperature by even a single degree. The DLP engine also contributes to the Ricoh's overall lower power usage and smaller size. DLP technology is now in everything from handheld LED and laser-driven Pico projectors to IMAX 3D HD cinema projection systems. DLP is particularly well suited for 3D, and though you may not have an application for it right now, the Ricoh projector, for what it's worth, does have 3D projection capability already built in. Now, we can only speculate that at some point in the future, Epson will eventually have to get on the DLP bandwagon. 
but for now, the Ricoh projector has the upper hand. Well, thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next time.